Welcome to another Gmail tutorial. Today we're covering the second part in uh, importing your uh, your mail, your contacts, and your calendars from uh, a, another another client t into Gmail. So for these two videos, I created a Yahoo account and created uh, got some random emails. Uh, created a generic contact and a couple of random uh, calendar events. So last time we imported the mail and the contacts. Um, if you're just uh, finding this video now and you want to know how to import those from Yahoo or AOL or some other client into Gmail, I will put a link right here so you can click on that video and find that out. But for today what we're going to be doing is importing our calendar from Yahoo or calendars from Yahoo uh, into Gmail and the process works the same uh, the only difference is you're gonna have to find where to export it from if you're in AOL or another uh, another uh, mail client so if you saw we were in logged into our Yahoo and I just went over and clicked on calendar from here it will display all of my calendars. For, for the, the purpose of this example, I only have one calendar. If, if you have multiple calendars, then you'll just have to do this process a couple of times. So notice that we've got these two test events, uh, one on the 12th and one on the 18th. And what we're going to do is uh, export this calendar out of Yahoo and then import it into Gmail and check and see if these two events got copied into Gmail. Uh, so what we're going to do is you go, you scroll over to the name of your calendar and when you go onto it this little drop down arrow appears. Click on that and go to export. Click on export and it will export the calendar and try and import it into mail if you're on a Mac. Um, I don't want to import it into the calendar, the generic or not mail, it, it'll import it into your calendar app on your Mac. I don't want to so I just quit that but as you can see right here this is the uh, the calendar file that got exported. Um, it's not going to display it but that's okay. So next you need to go into Gmail and log in. Ooh, notice that uh, we got a uh, message that uh, says that the um, the mail and the contacts were successfully imported from our last tutorial. So that's good to know. We're going to dismiss that. And then I want to go to calendars. I can either go click on this thing and choose calendar or I can just type in calendar.google.com. I filled it in because I've been there before. So click on that. It brings up your calendars in Google. I'm going to go to month view and then Notice right now it just has uh, my generic, my name in this in these tutorials is generic user. So whatever your name is in Gmail, it's just going to create a default calendar named that. Now, if we just import our the calendar we exported from Yahoo into here, it will by default just go into your main calendar. But let's say that we didn't want to do that. Let's say we wanted to create a separate calendar where we could dump all of our stuff from Yahoo. Or let's say we had two or three calendars in Yahoo and we wanted to create two or three calendars in Gmail to import them all e or each into. So what you do is you go to where it says My Calendars, you click on the drop down and you can create a new calendar here. And it takes you to the Create New Calendar thing. So I'm just going to call it Old Yahoo Calendar. Calendar. Um, description, you can fill it in if you want. Location, this would be, uh, for example, if you're doing business trips and uh, you want to have one for your uh, New York office or your San Francisco trip or whatever. I, I usually just leave this blank. Calendar time, uh, I'm in uh, California, so Pacific time is great for me. United States, yep, perfect make this calendar public, I don't want to do this. Uh, you, Yeah, you probably never want to click this. Um, even if even if you want to share it with your relatives, there's a different way to do it than making it public. Because what this means is that anyone who searches for your name 
um, and your calendar, and probably, or I believe your name and the name of the calendar will actually come up with this. So probably don't click that. <laughs> anyway, down here is where you would actually share it with relatives or friends or business associates. You would just add their email address, uh, and then you can choose what they can do, their level of uh, uh, being able uh, of userness in this calendar. So by default they can see the calendar but you can also make it where they can be a delegate for you and make changes or manage who shares it um, or only see your free and busy time. So yeah if I was adding someone I could click add person here but I'm just trying to create this calendar so I can dump the stuff in so I go down to the bottom and just click create calendar. So now I uh, see it just popped up I've got this old Yahoo calendar and uh, I've only created a place to dump the file in yet or I, I've only created the place to dump the file in I haven't actually created or I haven't imported the calendar events so now I'm going to show you how to import your calendar uh, that you've exported from Yahoo into Gmail so what you do is you go over here to settings you scroll down to the word settings and click on that and then there's three tabs uh, this is 2016 so there at this point there are three tabs Gmail may add more tabs in the future but for right now there's three you'll be on general when you first click on it go to calendars and then uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here but it's pretty easy uh, here are the calendars that you have and then down here are uh, just random ones that you've been subscribed that you are subscribed to uh, and by default you're subscribed to US holidays uh, if you're in the US so we've got this uh, and then in between these two sets there is the create new calendar which we've already done and there's the import calendar uh, and then you can also export your calendars if, if you're leaving Gmail or if you want to move your calendars to uh, m your mail clients or your calendar client but what we want to do right now is import calendar so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going, it asked me to choose a file, uh, to choose the ICMS uh, file. So I'm going to, and oh wait, before I click on that, I want to show you something. By default, this is going to go to my main calendar. What we said was we don't want it to go there, we want it to go to the one we created, old Yahoo calendar. So make sure that you click on this and uh, click on the calendar where you want the information to actually go. So once I've done that, I'm actually going to click on this. On the choose file, I go to desktop, and I'm going to choose uh, that file that I uh, exported from Yahoo. Choose that, import it, and it will begin the import process and tell you, if you have thousands and thousands of events, this might take a little bit, but since we only had two events, it did it successfully. Now I can go back, uh, I can go back to calendar and if I, I'm going to turn off my main calendar and we'll see that only the old Yahoo calendar is up and I have those events on the 12th test 1 and the 18th 9th, at 9.30 test 2. So that is how to uh, import your uh, calendars from Yahoo into Gmail calendar or Google calendar. Um, if you had extra, if you had um, two or three calendars here, you would go through the same process. You would export each one, and then you would go into Yahoo, or you'd go into Gmail, and you would um, first off create the new calendar here, or you could have gone into here and under calendars created the new calendars here. And then once you have those calendars, you go to import and you import each individual file. Um, so that is, in a nutshell, how to um, import your calendars from Yahoo or the same process should work with AOL and other uh, clients, other uh, calendar clients. So hopefully this was useful um, and uh, uh, hopefully this is all you need to know to be able to import uh, everything from a Yahoo account or an AOL account, uh, I think, or an Outlook account, uh, other other um, email accounts 
to basically import those files and pretty much everything you have on those uh, different accounts into Gmail. So hopefully this was useful and I will catch you next time in another Gmail tutorial or Gmail pro tip or quick tip. Bye!